Hey guys, how are you doing? If you're seeing home and lock screen using too much battery power on your iPhone or iPad, what you need to understand and how you can fix it with some simple troubleshooting steps. The very first thing is when you navigate to settings application and scroll down a bit, navigate inside battery and here you can see below that battery graph you see the activity bar and below that the battery usage by app wise and here you can see that home and lock screen consuming certain amount of percentage on your iPhone or iPad. With the iOS 17 and upcoming updates, Apple have made some improvements to the battery consumption uh, section, you know, app wise, whether if it is in a no signal area, then you will of course see no signal coverage have used certain amount of percentage. And here you can see the home and lock screen shows two percentage for me and when I tap on it it shows 32 minute on screen time if you're new to iphone or after updating to iOS 17 and higher versions you might be wondering why the home and lock screen is showing as this much percentage or this much on screen time on my iphone battery settings app wise activity usage the simple thing you need to understand is whenever you use any widget on your lock screen then that to make itself updated and provide you real-time information according to the type of widget you're using. For example, if it is a weather widget, then it'll keep on syncing the current weather whenever you wake up the display or if you're using always on display to show you the latest updated weather related data, it'll keep on fetching weather reports from internet and that of course uses certain amount of power. So that will be visible as home and lock screen usage on your battery settings page. Along with that, if you're using any widgets on your home screen, then that will also be counted as the home and lock screen usage. If the app is not frequently requesting the internet or you know updating itself in real time then this specific home and lock screen usage will not be too much. It will be around one or two percentage or under five percentage for the entire 24 hours but entirely depending on the widget you are using you need to understand that the percentage and the screen on time of the home and lock screen usage will be decided. And my suggestion to fix this problem is it is not like you should not use such widgets on your lock screen or home screen you need to use the widgets selectively based on what you actually need if the weather widget is very important to you whenever you go out to start the day before that you will check the weather widget you know or when you leave from office to home you need to check the weather widget either you can open the weather app every time or you can simply take a quick preview on your lock screen or from the home screen widget which will definitely be helpful for many people so in such cases if the application is very important to you then you can keep on using the widget the home and lock screen battery consumption will not be too much and according to your usage it will be optimized and you can check how much percentage it overall consumed by tapping on this specific number but if you are seeing that the 40 percentage or 50 percentage usage of the battery goes to the home and lock screen then that is definitely not normal you need to review what type of widgets you are using if it is a third party app widget then consider switching it to the home screen widget or based on the importance of the widget that you are using you may have to charge your iphone uh, in between the day you know according to how the battery percentage consumption happens with that specific widget and that will again show the home and lock screen overall battery consumption in your battery graph and one more troubleshooting step that i like to recommend to you is like make sure you have updated to the latest ios version that is very important because with the ios 17 release there were plenty of bugs which includes the home and lock screen bug consumed too much amount of battery power and the latest update like 17.1 and 1.1 actually helped you to fix the problem you can perform settings general reset and then Click on reset all settings once and then come back to the same page and then perform the location and privacy settings reset once. This reset will definitely be helpful to fix any software related bug that is present specific to your device. If you are updated to the latest version, still you are experiencing the home and lock screen, you know, 
consuming too much amount of battery power, then the problem could be specific to your device and performing this sort of all settings reset and location and privacy settings reset will de definitely be helpful to fix the problem. So do try these steps and let me know which one helped you to fix home and lock screen consuming too much amount of battery on your iPhone or iPad. Thank you so much for watching. For more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.